good about it. Kind of changes how it's about. Back, ease it back, ease it back. A little more, a little more, a little bit more. Yeah, good, clear, good.
So one year we received some funding from the Asset Forfeiture Fund, which is basically the bad guys funding our equipment. And we were able to buy personal protective equipment and other items related to confined space entry. The following year we were, we were allowed to buy uh, some robots. So we, bought, we actually had enough to buy one one year. And then this year the Asset Forfeiture Fund also provided some funding for us to buy some additional robots. We, we do all safety checks and precautions before we make entry into the tunnel, but once we make in, it's still an unknown. And that's where the robots come into play. We do have one robot now, and we have three on order with one going to San Diego sector. Once those arrive, that robot's more designed for the illicit tunnel. Our current robot's more designed for pipes. So once we can send a robot in first and clear the tunnel, that takes a lot of the safety and the unknown into consideration and can clear the tunnel for us. Any way you look at it, we still have to verify and validate that the tunnel penetrates the border to be classified as a cross-border tunnel. So eventually a person will need to enter the tunnel the way current standards are.